First Day's Child is about family, memory, strength, but mostly about hope. Monkey Bar Theatre for Young People is a national touring theatre company and our, our main body of work is to adapt Australian literature for the stage. Um, Thursday's Child I think is our ninth adaptation and in all our adaptations they tend to be chosen for a different age group and for a different reason. With Thursdays I think we all had different reasons why we chose it but we just immediately fell in love with the work and with Sonia's extraordinary, Sonia Hartnett's extraordinary depth and creativity in her writing. With Thursday's Child we have Janice McGavin playing harbour flute, who is the lead, the, the protagonist. And um, Janice is just a beautiful, beautiful performer because she embodies the, the young harbour flute who, you know, who is seven years old and is, is cheeky and naughty and funny. But she also has this really beautiful, dignified centre when she narrates and she plays the 23-year-old Harper. I think it's very interesting playing two different ages um, because I think I was very similar to Harper when I was young. I was very mischievous. I'm, I'm still quite cheeky, I think. and uh, So there's a lot of similarities. Um, but it is difficult because you don't want to overplay the, um, the childlike quality. You don't want to be kitty acting, I guess. So um, it's, it's, it's quite interesting and we're still going through the process of how to find that sort of childlike quality, um, making that authentic really. I met Sandy last year and she was the nicest director I've come across and I would still say to this day, out of all the directors I've worked with, she's the most positive, uh, open and just genuine person I've worked with, so it's been an absolute delight. So Thursday's Child is about um, a young woman, Harper Flute, who is recalling some memories from her childhood um, that centre around her brother Tin. Her brother Tin was quite an odd child and starts living under the house and living under the ground, he digs. And so this young woman starts to tell the story of her brother and through telling the story, immerses herself in the story and um, goes between the two and it's the story of her brother, why he went under the house and then the events that followed that, um, most of which are quite tragic but there's some light and warmth. In the role of Dar, the patriarch, court flute, we have James Lugton who um, walked into the audition basically and uh, was Dar. Dar is a loser really, he's a dreamer um, he tries his hardest, but everything he does pretty much turns to poo. I play two characters in Thursday's Child. Uh, one is Tin, and the other is Vandery Cable. And this is the first time I've tried on the suit, which I love. It's very 1930s cut. I'm not really used to it. It's very fitted through here, and then the pants go poof. If you look down, you see there's a really cute little cuff here. Makes me feel like I'm a... Uh, Farmer from the uh, 1930s, that's what it's all about. In the role of Mam, we have the wonderful Belinda Hoare. Mam is the matriarch of the family. She is gutsy, she is strong. She basically takes over and runs the family um, when Da falls apart. Mam is a character that gives half her food to the children. She only eats a certain amount because she's feeding her children. Her priority are the children that, that she is looking after and very um, staunchly looking after her brood. This is a story about love and acceptance and family and, and just sticking together as a unit. There's beautiful family moments and I think everybody, you know, at their core whether they've had a good upbringing or a, a not so good upbringing, um, they they can all relate and all family just has a lot of a lot of richness to it, and this play brings a lot of that richness out for people to um, 
be a part of and experience and share. These are, are things that I think young people can definitely cope with, but theatre doesn't always present those things, or, or uh, entertainment for young people might shy away from that. We protect our young people a bit from reality. I, I think in this day and age, life is tough for young people. It's much tougher than what it was before. There's so many more pressures, you know. Um, the whole electronic age has opened up so many more different worlds to, to them, and theatre is a kind of an old-fashioned way of helping people, young people, understand the world they live in and understand themselves. And I think that was another reason why we chose this story, because it's about, it's about Harper Flute understanding the world she lives in, and that's what we all grapple with, no matter how old we are.